If you haven't noticed, Raspberry Pis that used to cost $35 back in 2016 now cost much more than that if you can even find them. With my 3D printer collection and my use of automation growing, I needed a way to control multiple 3D printers from a single computer. Fortunately, this is not the first time I've dealt with Serial and this is a pretty basic protocol. In most cases, you send a command and wait for an OK. There are a few edge cases, sometimes an OK looks like it came back out of order, meaning it would randomly hang waiting for an OK that came in too quick. As a workaround, I keep track of when the last OK was seen. If a command needs an OK and we've recently seen one, we simply move on. This seems to work pretty well and prevents random hanging. With that worked out, I now have a way to talk to many printers attached to a single computer. In the end, the script takes a device path, character rate, and some G-code to spoon feed to your printer. Next, I added a wrapper script to simplify the printing process. This script creates a few folders for each configured printer. The folders are named after the dev files. The character rate or baud rate is configured here. Inside each of the printer's main folder, you'll find an upload, printing, and done directory. You simply save your G-code to the upload folder to start a print. It will be moved to the printing folder and the G-code send script will be started. If you want to cancel a print, simply delete it from the printing folder. When a print finishes, it will be moved to the done directory. To help automate some of this, I added a few helper scripts. This one looks for the last completed print and moves it back to the upload directory. I tied this into a Zigbee switch using my home butler and home assistant setup. I also have a few helpful small G-code scripts. These can come in handy when loading filament or turning off the hot end. If you plan to slice and dice with Kira on the same computer, make sure to turn off USB printing in the Kira add-ons. With that done, the script won't fight over the serial connection. As always, this is GPL code and linked below. Thanks for watching. Bye.